Hi all, just a trigger warning at the top of this episode, as there are mentions of suicide during this episode. Have a nice time. Welcome to the Voynich Manuscript. This episode we, I'm joined by... Uh, Nika, I use they, them pronouns. Mephistopheles himself. Madeline. <laughs> and this ep- Oh, and I'm Finn, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> and this episode we'll be talking about the Ericsson twins. Do any of you know about the Erickson twins? They're they are twins. twins. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great episode, guys. I'll see you on the next. You, you, you cracked the case. <laughs> I bet they're conjoined. They sound like they'd be conjoined. They're not. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. I don't care. Let's well, assume it has something to do with murder. Oh, it does. It doesn't, it doesn't always. It doesn't always, but this one does. Man psychic. Twin murder. Everyone did. All right. So Ursula and Sabina Eriksson are Swedish twin sisters who came to national attention in the United Kingdom in May 2008. The twins had been in Ireland before traveling to the UK and boarding a bus from London uh, for London in Liverpool. Um, this first section, there aren't actually any solid facts about what happened because. There weren't any security cameras or anything. But we'll soon get into a bit that was all recorded. And I can show you what happened. Which I always find fun. The the twin thing and they all died at the end. Alright. So yeah. No solid facts for this first section. But the story goes that they both arrived on a ferry from Ireland to Liverpool on the 17th of May 2008. They boarded a coach, which is English for big bus. I was aware of that. I wasn't. I, 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 do, <laughs> I, do, I, do, I do speak me. a little bit of British, even though I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, they boarded a coach from Liverpool to London and were apparently acting suspiciously while on it. Sus. They were being all shifty and not allowing the bus driver to check their bags. And the coach driver legally had to check their bags uh, for security reasons. Mm. Uh, but they, when they didn't comply, comply, he kicked them both out of the bus. Um, and this is in like a rest stop next to the M6, which is a motorway that runs through the United Kingdom. Um, but yeah. This just sounds like how Fortnite was made. What? what? They got kicked <laughs> off of the bus after maybe having weapons. So I hate you. We- <laughs> <laughs> Nico, do you have any experience <laughs> so far? Uh, well, I mean, my first thought was drug smuggling. All right. Maybe they were like drug mules, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That, that's that's my first thought. Theory is more plausible. <laughs> the Fortnite theory. Yes, the Fortnite theory. What a decade before Fortnite yes. came out. <laughs> Fortnite theory. Fortnite theory. All right. <laughs> a short while later, there is a call to the police about two maniacs jumping onto the highway and dodging between cars. Uh, there is footage of all of this uh, because of the show Motorway Cops recorded it. I'm just going to pause it here and show you to a video of the actual incident occurring on that show, Motorway Cops. All right, so uh, what you just saw there was... Was a police uh, officer to get fucking decked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to explain for the audience what happened there. Um, and I'll go into more detail, like police reports and shit like that. Um, so... Before the police had arrived, Sabina was grazed by a Siet Leon, which is a smaller car um when the police arrived they they attempt to calm down the series of uh, sisters when out of nowhere ursula breaks free and runs to the side of an oncoming mercedes-benz actros 2546 articulated lorry going at around 56 miles per hour or 90 k's an hour sabina then quickly followed her and was hit head-on by a volkswagen polo traveling at high speeds both survived um, Ursula is immobilised as the lorry had crushed her legs Sabina spent 15 minutes unconscious Ursula restricted um, 
medical aid by spitting, scratching and screaming at the paramedics before telling police officers restraining her, I recognise you. I know you're not real. Sabina, now conscious, shouted, they're going to steal your organs. Okay, drugs, easy. Yeah. Drugs, easy. Drugs, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Case sorted, I did it all. <laughs> <laughs> I did all of the drugs. I did the drugs to find out they're on the drugs. Mm. Uh, to everyone's surprise, Sabina then got to her feet and started yelling and screaming for the police, despite police being present at the scene. She then ran into the road again. Emergency workers and several members of the public caught her, handcuffed her, brought her back to a waiting ambulance where she was sedated. Before, not before decking a police officer. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, was, she decked a police officer <laughs> during this time as well. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> um, it was just a straight tell. swing. Yeah, it was like, fuck you. <laughs> Um, she retired after that. <laughs> from her MMA career. <laughs> <laughs> the best punch of her life. <laughs> Ursula was taken to the hospital by helicopter, and Sabina was taken to the local police station as she appeared uninjured. This is where we leave Ursula as she doesn't appear for the rest of the story. We just follow Sabina from now on. Wait, is Ursula the one who... Got hit by Valorian, got legs crushed. Okay. Yeah. So She's not interesting. She only got her legs like, crossed. Oh yeah, nothing interesting about so her. So bitch can't walk. Bitch can't walk. Bitch can't walk. Bitch can't commit crimes. <laughs> and the other one kind of just fucked off. Yeah. Well, she was taken to the police state, the local police station in Stoke-on-Trent, and then probably just arrested and shot in the head later. <laughs> um, well, it's funny enough. Like this, this case is actually a very big case for like, advocating for police malpractice and like what's that word that we used last episode? Like not incompetence. Uh, negligence. Yeah. Police negligence. And I, stuff I think like that. I would be negligent if a lady also ran up and decked me in the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'd be treating I them think nicely. you're focusing on the wrong part. No, this is exactly what this episode's about. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Sabina, after being taken to the police station, uh, remains calm and collected during police interviews. And one article that I found states that she was acting flirtatious towards an officer. Yeah. Sabina states... We say in Sweden that an accident rarely comes alone. Usually at least one, or maybe two, follows. Which is ominous cryptic. as all hell. It's cryptic. Yeah. Um, any theories so far? Podcast. They predicted this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this was an accident. <laughs> yeah, any theories as of right now? I mean, there's the obvious one, right? Yeah, the obvious drugs. one is they were drug mules and they had drugs probably put in their bodies. And those... The bags that they were in probably broke, causing them to act erratic. Mm. Maybe well, one of them just really wanted to deck a police officer in the face. I mean, you say that, but like, assuming they took some of the drugs, like, what drugs would have made them act like that? It would be something... Meth. Yeah, meth, or something, like, not... Ch- I, I hate to use the phrase child-friendly, like, yeah. weed or cocaine. <laughs> but something like bar salts or uh, yeah. PCP. It would have been... Probably, yeah, probably yeah. would have been something hard off. I, I do think it would be meth. If it was anything, isn't bath salts the one that that guy ate a person's face while Probably. he was on it? Probably. I thought in that case the way they went, well, the drugs don't actually cause you to eat someone's face. Because you didn't make you think you want to eat someone's face. <laughs> Yummy. No, I got such some munchies, man. <laughs> I munchies. Give me a face, bro. <laughs> Give me a face, bro. It's, it's, have you seen llamas with hats? I have. Yeah. Uh, I've seen <laughs> a lovely case of roasted face. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. <laughs> I like how on the order of it, we just got that big draw. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm sure some people who are more superstitious would probably be like, oh, they were possessed by demons or something like that. They were that. possessed by the demon of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> Swedish! <laughs> You're gonna take revenge on the British for something. The Swedish and Irish spirits like, were fighting inside their bodies. It's like, the, it's like the TikTok rapper who only makes raps about how they're going to kill the entirety of England. What? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard of that, but you'll have to send me one. Right? <laughs> that sounds funny. Uh, okay, so on the 19th of May 2008, so this is two days later, mm. Sabina is released from court without a full psychiatric evaluation or drug test. Well, that's fucking... Having pleaded guilty to the charges of... Trespassing on the motorway and hitting a police officer. <laughs> Decking a police officer. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the court sentenced her to one day in custody, which she had already, uh, which she was already deemed to have served, having spent a full night in police custody the night before. So, like I said, this is one of those cases where it's just like, 
so much negligence. Why didn't they do a police eval? Why didn't they do a drug test? Say, what's not the first thing you do if you see someone consistently running into traffic, yelling about police not being there when they're right in front of them? And they're going not to steal do a drug your test. organs. Yes, and then don't do a drug test. Well, it's funny because... I have, like, in my extensive research <laughs> on this, you know, the, f- I think, six sources the, I've got. The first page of Google. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> in my six sources, I couldn't find anything about statements from Ursula. I could only find stuff on the behalf of Sabina. Ursula well, did, uh, did Ursula, like, live? Ursula. They both lived. Ursula left the police station, then went down to the ocean. Well, no, uh, <laughs> Ursula was taken to the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> so her legs got cr- crushed, like that one time in front of your house. What? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. The, guy, the guy's leg got crushed in front of yeah, my we house. Were, I haven't we heard were of watching, I, I, was, I was trying to watch Bird Jack Horseman. You did! You yeah, did we, were, we were watching Bird Jack Horseman. I heard someone screaming. Help. I heard someone screaming. No, I'm heard like, it. is that a drunk no, person? Yeah, and then I heard it. I like, believe no. semantics is what this is called. Otherwise, I'm better. <laughs> so, yeah, person out the front was trying to repair their car on a hill. And then it just, then the guy just <laughs> <laughs> over his leg. Yikes! Ow! All right. Well, at least it wasn't going ninety kilometers an hour. Yeah, probably only five. <laughs> <laughs> probably not even. He was a pizza delivery guy. He's probably on drugs as well. So. Da 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 da. All right. So, leaving court, Sabina began to wander the streets of Stoke-on-Trent, trying to locate her sister in hospital and carrying her possessions of a laptop and a thousand pounds in cash in a clear plastic bag given to her by the police. Okay, I was going to say, if it came in the clear plastic bag, Jesus, that's drugs. <laughs> <laughs> At 7pm, two local men spotted Sabina while walking their dog on Christ... Uh, I, can't, I can't remember if it was Phil, but I think they were both walking. Not important. On Christ the, dog Church was cr- Street. the dog was laying on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the dog was dead. Being dragged. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Fido! <laughs> Come on, Fido, get up. You've been like this for weeks. It's like eye is hanging it's out. Just, it's just a brick on a leash. <laughs> And heavy, <laughs> and and cubic. <laughs> Your fur is falling off. Yeah, this is on Christ Christchurch Street in Fenton, which is a suburb of Stoke and Trent. On the one of the men was 40, uh, 54 year old Glenn Hollinshead, a self employed welder, qualified paramedic, and former RAF airman. And the other one was his friend Peter Malloy, which both of them great names. Glenn Holland's head? Holland's head. <laughs> yes, I would agree. I love how one of them is like, I have all these. I love how one of them is like, I have all of these qualifications. The other one's just Peter. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll see why there's only one thing about. <laughs> there's nothing about Peter soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we know what happens. Yep. Uh, sex. S- <laughs> gay sex. Gay male sex <laughs> together. <sex. laughs> all right. Sabina appeared friendly and stroked the dog as the three... The brick. <laughs> <laughs> stroked the brick dog. What's a brick? I love your brick. <laughs> What's his name? Brick. <laughs> What's his name? Q. <laughs> Holy Q. Rectangular prism. <laughs> anyway. Um... The three struck up a conversation. Although friendly, uh, Sab- Sabina appeared to be behaving nervously, which worried Malloy. <laughs> Sabina asked the two men for direction to any nearby hotel or bed and breakfast. Uh, Holland's head took pity on her and instead offered to take her back to his house <laughs> at nearby Duke Street. That's very sus. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sabina accepted and relaxed as she began to uh, relate how uh, she was trying to locate her hospitalised sister. Back at the house over drinks, her odd behaviour continued as she uh, constantly got up and looked out the window, leading Malloy to assume that she had run away from an abusive partner. She appeared paranoid too, offering the men cigarettes, only to quickly snatch them out of their mouth, claiming they may have been poisoned. Shortly before midnight, Malloy left and Sabina stayed the night. I mean, about the cigarettes, just like, yeah, they are poisoned, the yeah. cigarettes. That's literally the point. Yeah. It's like, Maybe they watched the, f- the first uh, thing of Saw, the first Saw movie. 2000, yeah, it just came out by that point. <laughs> no, just going to figure out exact date so we know she watched Saw. <laughs> May 2008, what? I Saw came was... out in, what, 97? 98? Saw? It came out, like, early 2000. Did it? 
Not even at least... I think, like, 2008. I think she came no out in 2008. I have no clue, but I think she was too busy getting hit by a car to watch Saw. Maybe she was just a Saw victim. I, I'm sorry, I'm curious when the first Saw... <laughs> 2004, I stand correct. I love these films as well. You should... I should know when the first one yeah. came out. Get whipped yeah. and nanny. She actually just watched the first Saw film. <laughs> yeah, she... With the poison... The poison cigarettes. And then, Wasn't that the second one that Poison Cigarette? No, it was the first one when he was laying on the floor it is, in yeah. the bathroom. Finn, you say you're a fan. And he's like, oh yeah, Poison <laughs> Cigarette. And then Stuxel's so like, oh, you should fucking kill the other guy. And he's like, oh sure. <laughs> and then like, goes to smoke it and then like, oh, I'm dying. Cough, cough, cough. And Stuxel's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Key in the bathtub. <laughs> and that is called the first Saw movie. <laughs> <laughs> Surmised in I'm two a, seconds. I study film at university. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> That's not even a joke. That's... <laughs> 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 anyway okay. you were to say something? no oh, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> you're gonna say movie. you're gonna say something bitch? <laughs> if you want me to is that not why I'm here? <laughs> alright the next day around midday Holland's head called his brother regarding local hospitals in, in order to locate Sabina's sister Asla at, at 7.40pm while the meal was being prepared Holland's head did the most British thing possible and left the house to ask a neighbour for tea bags, <laughs> <laughs> and then went back inside. A minute later, he staggered back outside, now bleeding, and told him she stabbed me before collapsing to the ground and quickly dying from his injuries. You stabbed me, mate. All I want was a foot of fucking tea. <laughs> I will kick you off this podcast yeah. quicker than your mother's You're not kicking really over British. Your house. You don't have an abundance of tea bags, Stan. <laughs> Do you want some? Oh, great! I want a breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! I want peppermint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As the neighbor dialed nine 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 or triple zero, whatever country in, Sabina fled the premise and was caught on the run on, by nearby CCTV. She ran out of the house with a hammer, periodically hitting herself over the head with it. A passing motorist saw this and decided to, ha- to tackle her and able to take control of the hammer. While wrestling with him, Sabina screamed and took a roof tile out of her pocket and struck him on the back of the head with it, <laughs> stunning him temporarily. Quick, pocket roof tile. Yeah! <laughs> it's like no, I, 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 call bull- I call bullshit on that. Do you know how small women's pockets are if they even have Coat pockets? Pocket. Hmm? Oh, coats. she had a coat. Yeah, you can see the video. Yeah, she had, like, the video. I already on. forgot. Yeah, <laughs> but Very like good. I, I just imagined she was wearing like pants and she had like those fake pockets, but she pulled one out of there anyway. Oh, that's a tissue. By the time the paramedics uh, had found her and gave chase, the pursuit ended at Heron Cross, at Heron Cross, uh, which is a bridge. Which activated pocket teleport. And <laughs> <laughs> when Sabina jumped from a 12-meter, 12, 12 40-foot high bridge onto the A51, uh, oh. A- A50, which is another motorway, oh, that works. breaking both her ankles and fracturing her skull in the fall, she was then taken to hospital. She survived as well. Jesus. Huh. All right. Sabina pleaded guilty to manslaughter with diminished responsibility on the 2nd of September 2009. Having stabbed her victim five times with a kitchen. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is an accident. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just kept falling into him with my nose. It was the it's pocket like, roof tile. It was affecting my mind. <laughs> like, it's like the cell block tango from Chicago. She had it coming. <laughs> um... At no point during her interrogation or during the trial did she explain her actions, only replying no comment to extensive police questioning. Similarly, at no time was the video from the M6 used as evidence in court. Both the pro- prosecution and defence claim that Sabina was insane at the time of killing. There's no proof of that. No, I temporarily <laughs> Except insane, for that video but... that has proof of that, but you know. <laughs> um, although she had become uh, sane again by the time of her trial... That's how I that don't works. think that's how, yeah, I don't think mm-hmm. that's how that works. Oops, I'm insane. Oops, I'm normal. Oops, I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where was I? The defense counsel in the trial claimed that Erickson was a secondary sufferer of folly ado, which is also known as a madness of two. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, I'll actually get into that. No, no, no. Remember the episode of Simpsons that was parodying The Shining? The Shining? The Homer what goes insane. Who am I? What do you mean? 
really good episode. I bumped the table. I know you did. Yes, I've been sore and heard. I've been convicted of manslaughter. (laughs) (laughs) Influenced by the presence or perceived presence of her twin sister, the primary sufferer, the court also heard that she could be that she had suffered from a rare psychiatric disorder, which made her hear voices but could not interpret what they said. As well as an alternate theory that she'd suffered from acute polymorphic delusional disorder. Her plea was accepted by the prosecution at Nottingham Crown Court on September 2nd, 2010. Oh, she was strong enough to have both of a polymorph. <laughs> <laughs> um, no wonder she survived the fall. Sorry? No wonder she survived that fall. <laughs> she turned into a giant ape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She turns out she was a seventh level sorcerer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least. Um, I forgot to do my research into what polymorphic delusional disorder was, so Poly- listeners... It's the, it's the spell polymorph from D&D. Yes, it is. So listeners at home, feel free to look it up yourself. I am not going to tell you. Is this called Finn is lazy? <laughs> and no, it's called Finn was writing this at uh, 11.30 last night and forgot about that one detail. I mean, we no, could just I look it up now. We could just time. look it up right now. Let, let me give it a quick What was I doing at 11.30 last night? You were playing Call of Duty 3. I saw it on Discord. Yeah, you probably were. You know, that probably makes sense. I think I played that up until like 4am. Of course you Acute polymorphic uh, psychiatric. You're getting food, by the way. That's homophobic. Good. Also, <laughs> Maybe we could like take a stop here while you research it, so we can get the food that's going to arrive in a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, I will cut this. Bit this out. is this will be edited out. I can say whatever I want. So after that break, I actually just couldn't find anything on polymorphic delusional disorder. So let's, my life got cut off. I think let's make the assumption that it has something to do with. Their environment being polymorphed into something that isn't actually good. More than likely, but I couldn't find what it would be. They've been traumatized if by If you know what it is, say it in the comments. And punching people. The comments that don't exist because this is a podcast. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the comments. Well, if you put it on YouTube. If I put it on you, I will put it on. You know what? Fuck you. I will put it on okay. YouTube. We, we, Comment we us if you have you any idea about red psychiatric, I'm assuming, diseases, mental disorders, disorders mm. illnesses, etc., etc. Et Feel free to comment what the fuck it is. Yeah. (laughs) Alright. Now I'm gonna be talking about I'm gonna be talking about some of the popular and fucked theories about this case. Thunder. No, that was my (laughs) brother's window. (laughs) (laughs) That might be thunder. (laughs) Um tell you a storm was the first thing. Alright. The first one there are two like real I'd owe you three really not really sensible it's theories. Possible. Possible. Plausible theories. Theories that aren't batshit insane. Yeah. Uh, the first one is Fully Ado, like I mentioned before, The Madness of Two. Um, this was the plea that Sabina's legal team in- entered in court. Uh, a rare clinical disorder known as Folly Ado or Madness of Two. It is, shared, it is a shared psychological disorder where two generally related people both experience the same delusion. It would seem to be the most probable explanation here, and it's, uh, it is the official line on this case. Um, so, think of it like an echo chamber. So, instead of one person being like, oh, I'm seeing things, and another person going, no, you're not, you're crazy, would be like, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, I see it too. Yeah. It's like, I, I feel like that's like having a yes man to confirm your yeah, delusion. It's, it a, is, it's it, a cartoon trick. Yeah. It is, it is just a, a psychological yes man. Mm. Um, Hi. Well, like New Vegas. <laughs> it's not a robot. <laughs> I can't say no. Anyway, the second theory is actually one that Nico brought up earlier. Piss. Being, not piss. Uh, being drug, drug mules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's suggested by David uh, McCann. Or David, David Attenborough. David, and here we see two mad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping into traffic. <laughs> Uh, he wrote a book, A Madness Shared by Two, which is a book about this incident. Um, and he suggested that Sabina's partner in Ireland was part of a drug trafficking ring. He believes that the authorities in the UK had the twins under observation due to links with the gang, and as a path uh, as and a path as clear as possible was being made to keep them out of the legal system, allowing the security services to maintain their observations. So, I don't personally think that's very uh, plausible. They didn't do a very good job. Yeah, they really didn't do a good job (laughs) if that were the case. But at the same time, it's like only the initial uh, sentence being a day in 
confinement. For murder. No, no, but, no, that was for the jumping into traffic oh, and yes. the assaulting of a police officer. That's understandable, kind of. No, <clears throat> uh, well, I, I know in America, at least, assaulting a police officer is taken, like, way more seriously than mm. it should be. Yeah. And the last plausible theory is probably one of the grimmest ones, that it was a suicide pact. That they were going to run out into traffic together, they were probably uh, emotionally unstable, and they were going to kill themselves. Well, I agree there's some... Uh, there's obviously some mental instability yeah. in well, play here. There's no what? proof of mental instability here. I, I never. This is normal. I do this on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. This seems like an average Sunday afternoon for me. Jump into traffic, <laughs> deck stab, a police officer, stab, stab someone. someone five times, and then hit someone over the head with a roof tile and jump roof, off a bridge. Pocket roof tile. Yeah, here's my thinking, though. If it was a suicide pact, then, like, why kill the other dude? Why do all this excess shit on top of, like, trying to kill yourself? Well, I don't know. Um, that's, that's the point, Nico. Yeah, it's, it's a mystery. <laughs> well, why do you think I'm bringing up the don't question? You're not, you're, not go, you're, not to, you're not meant to guess the mystery here. What? <laughs> what? We leave it here unsolved so everyone thinks about it for the rest of their lives. See, what we do here is we give people mystery blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> you want to, uh, you want to, uh, Nope, no, nope, no, 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 stop. Stop. <laughs> no, stop it. This is not an asthma podcast. <laughs> asthma. Guys, I can't breathe. Oh, we should make this into I a Twitch died. titty stream. <laughs> Everyone take your shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, do you want to hear some of the more fucked theories? Hell yeah, yeah, sure. So the first one, MK Ultra Mind Control. Yes, I knew this was going to come up. <laughs> yes! So, conspiracy site Red Ice Radio offers up the theory that the sisters could have been subject to a government mind control program. MK Ultra. MK Ultra. <laughs> Although many think mind control is a half-baked conspiracy theory, it's now known that the CIA has a top-secret project running for many years that did just that. Images that worked as triggers were often implanted in subjects' minds, and people think that the bright colours of the police jackets triggered them. Huh. Mm. They didn't use colour, though. They always use specific pictures. I know. That's what, that's what my thoughts were. Like, why would you pick a colour? It's like, like... I hate for my example to be horrific, but my only example I've got is Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, <laughs> the main, no, but actually, not Very even the, not the zombies. I know I was on about zombies for a while, but this isn't the zombies. This is the actual campaign. Ooh. So, Ew. the main character in there has actually revealed to be infected by a somewhat kind of MK Ultra thing. It was done by the Russians instead of the Americans. Right. But they basically brainwashed the main character into becoming a political assassin. So anytime he saw JFK's face, he would instantly go to kill it. And it's actually re revealed in the game that the, your character you play as is the person who kills JFK in the end. Oh. And, yeah, so they, they used a picture of JFK for that. So huh. To use a, an example I prefer, this film Zoolander. <laughs> what was... Something recently I heard about MK Ultra. I can't remember what it was, though. I know that uh, there was a, in the sixth, maybe seventh season of Archer, there was an MK Ultra plot. Yeah, it's in my YouTube video. <clears throat> as someone who is very it. culturally ignorant... Hmm. I have no idea that anything. Uh, we need to, to do yeah, we need to yeah. explain it for everyone. MK Ultra is something we should explain. So basically, in the during the Cold War, I think, um, yeah, it, War. yeah, it was rumored that uh, the CIA were basically giving uh, people massive amounts of like, what was it acid and LSD? Yeah, it was just different drugs. Yeah, like a cocktail of different drugs to try to mind control them. <clears throat> Turns out, like it was revealed that yes, this actually happened. People, the CIA actually did this, but didn't work. It obviously it didn't work, mm. uh, and that's essentially what MK Ultra is. Um, forcing people to take drugs. Forcing people to take drugs to try to control their brains. Mm. Now, anything I've really watched, at least recently, no. that um, <clears throat> that had like brainwashing kind of thing in it is, you know, that new series that's a bit um. What's the word? Criticize? Which one? It's yeah, got a very conflicting series? thing. It's called Queers, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Q-Force? Yeah, Q-Force. It's Q-Force. Oh, God. <laughs> the show's the the really, apparently the show's actually good. Yeah, I've, yeah, he I've I, heard that. I watched it. It was actually... It was it was pretty okay, except for Twink. I don't like Twink. He's like the stereotype of the white gay man. I know it's the point, I but think this, it, he was just really <laughs> obnoxious. 
What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know what the point was. It doesn't mean I have to like it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what were you saying? Uh, so in that, there's an ep- oh, spoiler alert, by the way. Don't give a shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you if you want to watch Q-Force. Fuck you. you. There's skip an episode. Skip, skip to point, but we don't care. There's a... Skip 30 <laughs> seconds. This will last less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> there was an episode where all these older queer agents were, like, brainwashed into, like... Being <laughs> no, weirdly enough, not into being straight, but to forgetting that they were a- agents in this, like, secret force. And they had some weird thing about, like, I don't know, what's the name for, like, a foot doctor? An author, a podiatrist. No. Yeah, they had a podiatrist, <laughs> Or is I it think. pediatrician? Which one's No, kids? pediatricians, um... <laughs> I know, I, was, I knew you were about to say orthodontist. Yeah. Like, that's the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong area. Yeah, boy, the foot fetish friend. doctor. Oh, I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> yeah, you can say it. Yeah, that's doxing someone, no. It is doxing someone. Uh, turned this out to be the dude... <laughs> <laughs> turned out right, to be the dude who was, like, brainwashing them into forgetting. Right. And there was like a whole like key phrase that they said, and then they're like, "Oh, I remember now." I'm sorry for the Q Force people who we said it was gonna be thirty seconds because it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you it kept has... interrupting me. Uh, I don't see how that's our fault. <laughs> that's not our fault. <laughs> if you want to watch Q Force, why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next batch of insane theory is the Illuminati. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. That's entirely plausible. I am not going to go into much more detail about this. <laughs> why not? Because I could only find about two sentences on why people think it's the Illuminati. Like the Illuminati caused it or they were part of the Illuminati? You can't see it. I'm shrugging. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just say asterisk shrug asterisk. <laughs> asterisk no, shrug. Isn't hashtag, the... hashtag shrug hashtag shrug <laughs> hashtag hashtag. Isn't the Illuminati meant to be made out of powerful people? Like mm, politically no. or like socioeconomically powerful people. Yeah, because it's that the Illuminati is the powerful people, and the, yeah. and the, isn't it the Freemasons that are like the more regular? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Your regular cup but yeah, of Yeah, Illuminati are the powerful people, people who run shit. You know, like Rihanna mm. and Beyonce and other people who I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> all those famous people. All yeah. the world leaders. Yeah. Anyway. Because it doesn't make sense if it's like, oh, they're a part of the Illuminati. Because these are just two regular people. Uh, like, regular yeah. in the sense that they're not rich or influential. They just they just had their 15 minutes of fame because they fucking ran into a bunch of cars and stabbed some bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. If they're like, oh, the Illuminati caused it, my question would be how. Or why. Yeah, how and why? What what did the what would the Illuminati gain out of this? Nothing. Chaos. <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> Alright. The final batch in the same theory, and the final thing of the podcast is gonna be twin alien hybrids. Now now I'm interested. <laughs> Can you uh, elaborate on uh, that? is this another one where I could only find a handful of sentences on what the fuck? <laughs> um but no, the basic is that uh, these two are Twin alien human hybrids sent to Earth on a reconnaissance mission to learn about humans. Why would That's they why learn? they had the pocket tile. Oh my god! <laughs> it turns out their coat pockets are extra dimensional spaces with only tiles and bag of yeah. holding, but it's just a coat. Coat of holding. <laughs> coat of holding, but it only holds tiles. <laughs> coat of tile holding. <laughs> why would they run into cars if I they don't were aliens? No. <laughs> Like I said, bat shit and... These are like the people... These theories These are, are the people of, who are cooked up. <laughs> yeah. These are the theories made by the people who like... The conspiracy theories that thrive off human misery. Oh. So, so it's me. <laughs> no. I don't... <laughs> conspiracize. That's a word. I am batshit insane, though. Yeah, you just used the word conspiracize. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, English is a social construct. <laughs> Were you going to say English is your second language, which it's just not? No. Your English... first language is gay. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I guess the theory that I would lead into is a mix of psychiatric, psychiatric disorder and drugs. Yeah. What's, what do you think? Remember the egg theory? No! It's not the egg theory! I don't know. International super spy fucked up, injected themselves with morphine, and now they're like that. So. Fair? Okay. <laughs> My personal theory is uh, actually the same as you, Nico. The combination of psychiatric disorders 
and drug mules, um, or dr- coke, um, <laughs> or like coke plantations. I, I, I'd, argue, coke I, I'd <laughs> argue more like uh, bar salts or M- uh, not MSG. Um, <laughs> MSG. They had to bring uh, out Chinese food the day before. <laughs> angel dust. Whatever the. Pe- I can't remember. Uh, Which one? A- angel dust. Lettuce. I can't remember what the three letter. <laughs> Angel Dust. PSP. PSP, thank you. Well, um, the PSP. We know lots about four. drugs. We do many big drug here. Yeah, We're you know Australians. Me. <laughs> we really take do drugs. Yeah, I do many drugs like uh, birth control and uh, antidepressant. I take paracetamol. <laughs> and ibuprofen. Mm. <laughs> and occasionally when I'm feeling saucy and antihistamine. <laughs> I haven't taken a, any form of medicine in seven years. So. <laughs> Madeline kind of has a phobia of pills. I live my life. Madeline Without just, the constraint Madeline of the government. Madeline just sweats out the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be on ADHD medication soon. Ooh, you Drugs? Isn't it Isn't like literally like cocaine? Yeah, it's meth. Meth. <sighs> I just uh, like her dosing oh, wait, you, you, wait, you're hooking me up, aren't you? Yeah, I'll give me the meth hook up. Uh, and then we can be the twins and recreate this. <laughs> any, we did it. Any, Let's go! Any cups listening, uh, I feel like legally I have to say that this is a jerk. For legal reasons. Not the ADHD and the thing. For legal reasons, you heard nothing. <laughs> Wink. For legal reasons. <laughs> Bizarre. You'll know, you'll know if you know, okay? Yeah. For legal reasons, listen to this backwards and you'll hear <laughs> so a secret message from the Illuminati. I did that. <laughs> the secret message is drink Don't water tell them. because <laughs> I put drugs in there. Ooh, ooh <laughs> it's fluoride in the water. Oh, God. It's turning the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, chemicals in the water. The fact about that video is the greatest part is that that's not the greatest part. Oh, yeah. The greatest part is where he later corrects himself by saying 95% of frogs are bisexual. Lovely. Well, you know, bisexual, gay. We, we stand Alex to, Jones to in this the, house. <laughs> Please do not make my household an Alex Jones standing <laughs> household. We're gonna make we're gonna make like fan cams on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking precious when you frog <laughs> <laughs> gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have anything to plug before we go? Your mama. I walked into that one. Um, do you have? Tell us about your. Just give. Say your Twitch. Say your Twitch, bitch. Twitch. T V slash M. It's Milky Wannabe. Milky Wannabe. Y. Shut up. I've been thin. And I am still currently Neeker. E. I torment women on my stream. You should join. And that's with Madeline. Bye. 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 Make me. <laughs>